Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, let's update our view on the gold market. Maybe on the technical side we have not lots of events right now, but some few moments it's actually worth of our attention. First of all, starting with the daily chart, you could see that gold market is turning to the upper direction once again. So if a few days ago it was at the very, at the very bad, as we said, it was additional factor in favor of the pullback. And it has happened, but mostly was very small. For now, and especially when the market stands already above 1975 FIB level, which is actually the last one, right from the top, it's the last one level, 618, it's already is on the way of the breakout. And it means that market is just breaking through on a free space where it just could actually keep going higher. Overbought also stands far, as you can see, it's 2030 area approximately. By the way, this overbought coincides with the weekly level. Now the daily and weekly overbought stands around 2030. And actually nothing prevent gold from the possible upper direction. This is the first moment. Second moment, if you'll take a look at the other markets, for example, on a daily, uh, sorry, yes, daily um, dollar index, what has happened recently. And now you could watch for 10 euro yield. It's also showing up prediction. With the all really factors that theoretically should be is holding factors for the gold, preventing its up reduction, like the headwind, market once again ignores it. So despite this jump on 10 euro yield and uh, up reduction on the dollar index, we do not see that gold suffers somehow and just keep going hard. It means that something is going on in the geopolitical background, which is makes really very low predictable factor. Finally, if we'll take a look at the recent news, it seems that the general position on the United States is changing and it's changing in a direction of negotiation, some decreasing of the level of escalation in the Middle East, which is because if uh, in the beginning of the Israel operation, United States haven't even speak about, spoken about uh, any country for Palestine and they have decided to resolve this problem by force. But after the two weeks, situations are changing. So yesterday, uh, Biden's speech, well, it, it, of course, it was really far from the total uh, resolving of the problem. But at least he said that the one interesting uh, phrase that it's two countries for the two different peoples and two different nations. So it's already suggests that uh, position of the United States in the Middle East conflicts becoming softer what the reason for that difficult to say uh, but this is the fact and if even with this easing of the situation we do not see any relief from the gold so this is means something it might be the complex of the different problems including the rising concern on rising interest rates yields decreasing of the uh, reliability of the benchmark that was used that is actually uh, united states debt is usually used in the bond market and uh, people start losing some faith in the uh, in, uh, United States debt and together with the uh, Middle East conflict. So this might be the complex of the problems. But the fact is the gold market is rising. So currently we probably should get uh, the uh, solution of this situation really fast. So if we take a look at lower time frames. On the fall time from chart, the flag consolidation that they have mentioned, you can see indeed has been broken up. As we said, this mostly looks like the Polish factor and we will not see yet any bearish context for taking the position. It's because gold could just keep going higher. And currently, the just Polish flag and suggest possible upper direction. It has happened, but now it's a small degree. And today, since today we will get some gross domestic product release, maybe it also may make impact on the gold. We could keep an eye on the hourly chart. So if you remember yesterday, I just briefly mentioned possible hand and shoulders. 
so that we could see what will happen with our prediction and what gold could, could show with, uh, when this target will be achieved. And now take a look, we have the OP around 1996. If some bearish action in general starts, it probably should start somewhere when the OP will be tested. It's just because this is a very common thing and logical for market that preparing for a possible downside reaction to achieve near near standing target around the top, retest the stop and then change the direction. Uh, but if this will not happen and market will just break it up and keep going higher, for, for instance, you could even consider here some kind of the butterfly or something of that sort. So it might be left wing of the butterfly, that's maybe right wing. Next target will be 2010 and another one. So will be 2024, 2025. So also the XOP around 1217. So that's will be the some further targets to the upside where market actually already could not stop, just could keep going higher. Uh, so currently today, if you intend to take the short position, wait for a data release, wait for the European Central Bank statement as well, and watch for the OP, what will happen around it. If market will touch the OP and start dropping, well, Although I do not like it and I do not want to take the short position, but at least in this case, you could try to do this and uh, you will be able to place very tight stop just above this area. If you will see the upward breakout and moving above the OP, it would be better to not consider taking any short position before. So just, this is just minor add-on and comments on the current situation on the gold. So let's see what will happen.